So here I am in residential Afula. So if you've heard of Afula, you might have heard of Afula garinim, the sunflower seeds, or you might have even heard of falafel, golani. Um, but I doubt you thought that Afula was the place for archaeology and history. So I'm right next to a small tell which was inhabited from the Bronze Age, so that's over 5,000 years ago. Um, pretty much up to modern times when it was sold by the Christian Greek Orthodox family, the Sorsaks, to Kihilatsion, an American Zionist group um, that thought that this was going to be an amazing investment. This is the gate. And we're standing here in the middle of this really residential place um, at the foot of a crusader citadel. And what's cool about this Crusader Citadel is that the Crusaders used sarcophagi. Okay, that's a box, kind of like a coffin that they would put the body in Roman periods. And they used them to support their wall. So we know that there was a Roman period here. And this same activity of putting sarcophagus in Crusader castles we know from Tsipori. So here it is. This is the craziest thing here. You see all the decorations. This is from the Roman period. So I think this is easily 15 to 1500 to 2000 years ago. Get a bit of this wall. And what's crazy is that just across here is a public park. So one of the interesting things is who has more rights? Is it the archaeology, the history, or is it the people of today? So we see all over Israel a way to try to live with your antiquities. Not live in a museum, but live in a place where your kids could play. But on the other hand, you could respect your um, antiquities as well. So there's a little bit of signs of explaining what was here in the Mameluke period, um, what was here in the British Mandate, but basically we're looking at history that's right, right in between a residential area. We're getting to the top, there's like an explanation area here, but what I like about this is that from here you could see the top of the sarcophagi, how it actually had an opening area. Um, this is the explana explanation area. And here they had found also a mosaic. Now, I'm not sure if this mosaic is the original. I hope not because it's been destroyed a little bit over here. But besides being super interesting, I think the question of living with history preserving history, but continuing to live modern lives with modern needs is a super interesting way to go around to Israel and see just like the Crusaders took these sarcophagi, dumped the bones and used them to build a wall. What do Israelis do it? They take the sarcophagus, take the wall and use it for a public park. Um, come see for yourself.